want a bit of the skin and a bit of the hair. So. Okay, that's looking cool to me. Oh, no it's not. Missed the bottom part. Let's zoom in so we can see what's going on there. Great. Okay, now we can get rid of that. So that's the paint, the paint toss um, done. Um, what I'm gonna add now though is uh, just a paintbrush. So create a new style, uh, a, a new layer, beg your pardon. Make sure you have it selected on the black. Yep, and I'm gonna get my paintbrush on this. I'm using a paintbrush called Spilled Milk. Um, and I'm just gonna click that one there and set it to 400 picks. I'm literally just gonna press it once and position that just behind the hair, like so. I think that looks, that's looking pretty cool. Yeah, right there. Cool. Okay, so that's all of my, my paint effects done. Um, now, I'm going to need to add some effects to the face. So, obviously this face has got no effects on it whatsoever. Um, right, so we're going to add some glowing edges first. So, let's go to the face file. Okay. Let's duplicate the face. Put it on top of all of the faces. Because this is the face we're going to be um, putting the, the glowing edge on. Okay, so go over to your filters. Go down to stylize, um, glowing edges. Okay, let's move that over. Right, now width is set to um, one. Okay, that's as I need it. Now I'm gonna put that set to screen. Okay, and the opacity is gonna be quite low. It's gonna be 16. Now, I'm going to duplicate the face again, the original face that is. Put that on top of the glowing edges. Normal. This time we're going to add a high pass. So filters, other, high pass. Okay, now that's a bit too high. I'm going to put that about 7.4. Okay. I'm going to go to a linear light and I'm going to set this opacity to 40. Yep, so there's the changes we've made. Just add a bit more definition to the face. Okay, that's looking cool. I'm just going to take some of that off from around this hair section here. So on the mask, just get your brush. Oh, wrong brush. Just a soft edge brush. Like that. Just get rid of some of that. Like so. Okay. It's looking good. Great. Okay, now we're going to add some um, filters. So, first filter we're going to do. We're going to create a new layer. And this is going to be filled with a gradient. Um, so, I want to go to effects, um, gradient overlay. Now, we're going to select this preset over here, which is just a blue, red, um, and yellow. Okay. Um, and just click. Okay, yeah, I think that's, that's cool. We want it to be set to radar. Okay, press OK. That looks good to me, I think. Yep, cool. Now you can't see anything yet. Just fill that like so. That's fantastic. Then we put that to an overlay. OK. 
Okay. Get the fill out. Okay, and then we bring the opacity down to 10%. Cool. Okay, so now we're going to add a gradient map. So we come down here, we've got the gradient map down here. Okay, and that's set to black to white, which is exactly what we want. Um, so just press OK. And we want this to be on overlay as well. We want that to be set, um, the opacity to be set to 30%. Yeah, so you can see it's starting to take form now. Then we want the brightness and contrast to so come back down here again. And then click brightness and contrast. Then the brightness needs to be up at 59. Let's bring that down a bit, in fact. Okay, cool. And then the contrast, we'll put that down. Okay, that's looking cool to me. Now, obviously, whatever image you're using, just fiddle about with it until you're happy with how it looks. Um, I'm going to now add some curves. So, come down here, click your curves. Okay, I'm going to go onto the red channel. We're just going to make a small S. So, literally nothing major. Okay, and then the same again with the green. The small s, okay. And with the blue, this time we're just going to get the bottom of it and just drag it up just a little bit, and the top of it and drag it down just a little bit. Cool. It's starting to look really cool. Okay. Um, now what I'm going to do is add a little background to it now. With the background, it's just simply a gradient. Um, so, oh, wrong one. Go down to your effects down here um, and go to gradient overlay. Set it on radar. Okay, we want the scale to be 150%. Okay, let's just double click on the gradient or just single click on the gradient right there. We want this color to be, um, double uh, click on that. I want that color to be, uh, where's my F6, F6, C, F, okay. And then we want this color to stay white. But we want the white to be in position 75. We want the, this kind of yellow color to be in position 10. And we want this midpoint to be at position 25. Okay, I'm happy with that. In fact, let's just So, as you can see, I had to click reverse there. Um, cool. So we want the white section to be in the middle, we want the yellow to be on the outside. Okay, so click OK. And um, that's our final image. So it will be uh, great to see um, how you're able to kind of use this um, in your own way. Uh, so please do, by all means, um, subscribe, comment, um, rate, like, do whatever you need to do. Also, kind of re reply with some of your videos. That would be great to see what, what you're able to come up with um, using the techniques that I've shown you in this video tutorial. Um, but thanks for listening, um, and we'll, see, we'll speak soon.